Here's an experiment you can try at home. Take a magnet and drop it in a sandbox. If you do, you'll find that some of the sand particles actually stick to the magnet, some of them quite strongly, and if you try to remove them, there will be some of these particles that you'll notice will be black and will stick to it in such a way that it's actually very difficult to clean the magnet off again. These particles generally are made of magnetite, which is a type of iron ore that is naturally magnetic. If I'm not mistaken, it's Fe304. Now, what's cool about this type of sand, this black sand, this small subset of your sand particles which are magnetic, is that you can separate them out in two different ways. The first way is using a magnet. It's quite easy. You go around with a magnet picker upper tool and you can gather out the particles. The second way is actually using gravity. If you take a gold pan, the same principle that is used to try to shake it out and separate out all the stuff, all the dirt that's in a river, based off of its density, you will actually find that together with the gold, you'll be collecting this black sand. In other words, this is a technique which is both very accessible to a modern person who's looking to gather some iron ore, and also to people in the ancient world who are looking to gather iron ore in a primitive way, while being very sure that it's high grade. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can filter the grade of the material. After you gather a whole bunch of black sand, you can pan it and be left with only the really good stuff and increase your chances of getting a smelt to work. Interesting thing, in Japan, the Tatara process, which was used to produce tamahagane, meaning bloom iron, was based off of this black sand, which is relatively plentiful in rivers in Japan. Massively cool. Kind of adds to the mystique of Japanese swords. In Europe, bog ore rained because there are bogs and you can find bog ore. It's a renewable resource that is an organic form of iron ore. But the chemistry of all places on earth are not the same. And in my region, bogs are actually quite uncommon. But sand is not. I live in a desert. And so what I'm going to be working on is I've purchased a pickup tool, a magnetic pickup tool from Harbor Freight. And I will use that to gather sand, including from this volleyball court. And I'm also working on a device which will process sand in a continuous basis and create a, a stream of black sand. That video will be coming probably in a month or two, but it's kind of an interesting project to work on and it's cool because it is both accessible now using magnets and accessible then using gravity separation. If you're interested in iron ore, smelting, primitive technology, and alternate ways of doing things, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.